Let's talk about something that might seem boring at first, the Federal Reserve cutting interest rates. You might think this is just financial jargon that only economists and Wall Street traders need to worry about. I know, I know, it sounds like something only Wall Street cares about. But the reality is these decisions ripple out to affect everyone, including you. But trust me, this stuff affects you directly. Whether you're aware of it or not, the Federal Reserve's actions have a significant impact on your daily life. It impacts how much you pay for a mortgage, which can determine whether you can afford that dream home or not. It also affects the interest you earn on your savings, which can influence how quickly your money grows over time. And even the cost of that new car you've been eyeing. Lower interest rates can make loans cheaper, making big purchases more accessible. Think of it like this. The Fed is like the conductor of a giant orchestra, and the economy is the music. Every decision they make changes the tempo and volume of the economic symphony. When the Fed cuts rates, it's like telling the orchestra to play a little softer, a little slower. This can make borrowing cheaper and saving less attractive. They're trying to encourage things to move a little faster to get the economy humming along. This can lead to more business investments and consumer spending. Now, you might be wondering, why should I care about the economy humming along? How does this abstract concept translate to my everyday life? Well, a healthy economy means more jobs, higher wages, and more opportunities for everyone. It can mean the difference between a thriving job market and one that's struggling. And that, my friend, is something worth paying attention to. Understanding these changes can help you make better financial decisions. So, the next time you hear about the Fed making move, don't just tune it out. Instead, take a moment to consider how it might affect your financial situation. Pay attention because it could be the difference between reaching your financial goals or falling short. Being informed can empower you to take control of your financial future. In the following sections, we'll break down exactly what this latest rate cut means for you and your money. Stay tuned to learn how you can navigate these changes to your advantage. The Federal Reserve, often called the Fed, is the central bank of the United States. It plays a crucial role in the nation's financial system. Its job is to keep the economy stable and ensure that the financial system operates smoothly. One of the ways it does this is by adjusting interest rates, which can influence economic activity. When the Fed cuts rates, it's trying to stimulate the economy by making borrowing cheaper. Lower rates make it cheaper to borrow money, which encourages businesses to invest and grow. This can lead to increased production and expansion. This in turn can lead to more jobs and a stronger economy as businesses hire more workers to meet demand. So why did the Fed cut rates recently? What factors are influencing their decisions? Well, there are a few reasons that the Fed considers when making such decisions. One is that inflation has been relatively low. Inflation is a general increase in prices over time. When inflation is low, it means the economy might be growing too slowly, which can be a concern for overall economic health. The Fed might cut rates to try to boost inflation a bit, aiming for a healthy level of price increases. Another reason for a rate cut could be concerns about global economic growth. The interconnectedness of global markets means that issues abroad can affect the U.S. economy. If other countries are struggling, it can impact the U.S. economy too, through trade and investment channels. The Fed might 
cut rates to try to cushion the blow from global economic slowdowns, providing a buffer for the U.S. economy. It's important to remember that the Fed doesn't make decisions in a vacuum. They consider a multitude of factors. They look at a wide range of economic data, including inflation, unemployment, and consumer spending to get a comprehensive view of the economy. This helps them get a sense of where the economy is headed and what actions might be necessary. Rate cuts are just one tool in their toolbox and they use them strategically to try to keep the economy on track. They also have other measures such as quantitative easing and regulatory policies to influence economic conditions. If you're thinking about buying a home, refinancing your mortgage, or taking out a loan, you might want to pay close attention to recent developments. A Fed rate cut could be good news for you, potentially making borrowing more affordable. That's because lower rates from the Fed often lead to lower interest rates on mortgages, personal loans, and even credit cards. This can translate to significant savings for borrowers. Let's say you're in the market for a new home. A lower interest rate can make a big difference in your monthly payments. A lower interest rate on your mortgage could save you thousands of dollars over the life of the loan. Imagine the impact of saving even a small percentage on a large loan amount. Even a small difference in interest rates can add up to big savings over time. This is especially true for long-term loans like mortgages. The same goes for personal loans and credit cards. Lower interest rates can reduce your monthly payments and the total amount you pay over time. If you're carrying a balance on your credit cards, a lower interest rate could help you pay down your debt faster. This means more of your payment goes towards the principal rather than interest. And if you're considering a personal loan for a big purchase, a lower rate could make it more affordable. This could be the difference between affording that new car or home renovation. However, it's important to remember that the Fed's rate cut doesn't automatically mean lower rates for everyone. The benefits can vary depending on individual circumstances. Lenders also consider other factors, such as your credit score and debt to income ratio when setting interest rates. A higher credit score can help you secure better rates. So while a rate cut can create a favorable environment for borrowers, it's still important to shop around and compare offers from different lenders to make sure you're getting the best deal. Doing your homework can pay off in the long run. While a Fed rate cut can be good news for borrowers, it can be a mixed bag for savers and investors. That's because lower interest rates generally mean lower returns on savings accounts, certificates of deposit, and other low-risk investments. If you're someone who relies on interest income from your savings, a rate cut can be disappointing. I myself use Wealthfront and I got an email today that my high yield savings got cut by a half percent. So now I get 4.5% instead of 5%. You might see your interest earnings dwindle, making it harder to reach your financial goals. However, it's not all doom and gloom for investors. While lower rates might mean lower returns on some investments, they can also create opportunities in other areas. For example, lower rates can make stocks more attractive to investors, as companies may find it cheaper to borrow money and expand their businesses. The key is to be strategic and diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Talk to a financial advisor about your risk tolerance and investment goals to determine the best course of action for your individual circumstances.